you for staying with us. Our quote for today, to keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise, we shall not be able to keep our minds strong and clear. I found this quote online and it was um, a claim to Buddha. What, yeah, do you, I, what, do you, what do you ladies think? I mean, I completely agree with the quote. Coming, considering the fact that it's coming from a man, I consider wiser than myself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, your body is like your engine. Your body feels, your body has to be in good health for your mind to function. Mm. Although the mind can function without the body, but it cripples you mm. when your body is not healthy. So it's good you just carry all of them along. How about San, um, Lamy, what do you oh, think? Definitely too. But you know, when I, when I saw this quote, it's a duty. Do you know what it means to oh, be definitely. a duty? So you do responsibility. Yeah. So you do, you can't just wake up and have junk and say it's my body. I can. Yeah. And that's why I'm so glad today we have great people in the studio that would <laughs> would, would drill it into our our skull. Why is important for us to, to stay healthy? For people because, like me. Yeah. <laughs> because I think that's the only thing you own. Mm. And it's absolutely your responsibility mm. to look after yourself. Yeah, that's you know, true. There are times that um, you just sleep and you're not able to wake up, you know, properly, then that's when you would know what it is to have good health. Of course. <laughs> yeah. All right, today is World AIDS Awareness Day and Eat a Red Apple Day. Mm. So we have red apples on, <laughs> on, this, on set today. So we have an interesting lineup as we look at our health holistically. Um, World AIDS Day, des designated on the 1st of December every year since 1988, is an international day dedicated to raising awareness of the AIDS pandemic caused by the spread of HIV infection and mourning those who have died of the disease. So we have three guests today, but first... They'll come in later, but first we need to take what's in the news. Yes, Lamy, you had a story for us. Okay, um, there was this story about Olu Michaels, I think he's an actor and a filmmaker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He actually came out to say reasons why he does not think he would ever want to get married. And now, what, the, what really struck me is he's 48 years old. What story, what uh, paper reported that story? The Nation. Okay. Okay, so he stated particularly that he wouldn't like to get married in life. Mm. Anyway, and for a 48 year old man to say that, I think he knows what he's saying. He said he's so scared about, I think it's about, um, he doesn't want to, he's a bit selfish in his um, reasons, but I think I, I respect his opinion anyway, despite the fact that I am pro marriage anyway. I think marriage is a good thing. But I like the fact that he's already stated he doesn't want to marry and doesn't want to put anybody in that kind of um, mm. a position, mm. an unhappy position. I think it's fine. Honestly, I'm not quite sure where I stand on this, considering the fact that um, he said he's a jealous person, and as an actor, that part of the reason he doesn't want to get married is, for instance, if he marries an actress and he sees her kissing another man, that he's going to have like palpitations or mm. something, you know. So. Um, I don't think he's being realistic. I mean, when you're lonely, you get into your bends that you bought with all your money and drive around. How does that really make? Come on, guys. Does that no, really I make think sense? that was a bit shallow. Well, I, well, I think that was it's a, needed. It's a, it's a very long topic, really, yeah. because I have a lot of strong um, objections to objections it. to what Lamy is saying, but I won't go into that. Maybe Sanzi, you take your own story first. <laughs> Let's hear what you found in the news. Okay, so moving away to something a lot more serious, um, former governor of Cross River State and uh, presidential aspirant um, uh, Donald Duke said that he is a frustrated Nigerian. Mm. And the reason being that, I mean, he was placing himself, uh, juxtaposing himself alongside the average Nigerian, Nigerian saying if him, who we consider an elite, would say that he is frustrated, then imagine what the average Nigerian is going through. Also moving on to state that the reason why we have a lot of drug abuse in places like the North is because people are frustrated and so they need something to shield them from the harsh reality. Mm. So that's the major reason why a lot of Nigerians are frustrated, including himself, but no, he's not doing drugs. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Donald Duke. Do you think the average Nigerian is frustrated? Oh, definitely. I oh, are you not frustrated? frustrated? I am I'm frustrated. not. I, I choose to believe in the positivity of Nigeria. I mean, some days it gets frustrating, but I just find somewhere, one tiny thing to hold on to and believe that Nigeria is a good place. Oh. Hmm. It is. You, know, you have where, to, you you know have to okay, so okay, nature to, Listen to, to my story that. first before okay, you can continue are, this conversation. Okay, wait, wait, let me, wait, let me give her my story. Hands off. Okay. Dolako Samson was accused of leading a cult group to murder a police officer. 
um, the person was the superintendent uh, of police and he's a member of the anti cultism squad. And this man was murdered. This Dolak was something was going on his own to go and um, be a waiter or something for his friends. Yeah. Um, so it was a normal day. He just woke up, got up. I want to go and help my friend do service or something and get mm -hmm. paid for stipends and all of that. In the morning, he wakes up on his on his bed to go out, and yeah. in the evening, he's locked up in the police station, hmm. accused of leading a cult group to murder a police person. So this man is trying to make noise to, for people to come, come to his rescue. So when you, when you hear this kind of story, and you now just the suppose it with, with what, we're what Donald, Trump, um, Donald Duke is saying, you would know that it's, it's truly you know, a frustrating place to live in. The system can get better, though. It can. You know? It can get better, but you know, that's why we are here. But yeah. I don't <laughs> think that is enough to say I am a frustrated Nigerian, well, or that Nigeria I, is a I, frustrating I, place. Sorry, because have you seen uh, the movie When They See Us? It's not the first time people have been accused of things they haven't done. You know, but you don't see an American saying I'm, America is frustrating. No, no, no. You, uh, that, that's what I think. There's no basis for comparison. On my way here, I saw a, a boy who was begging for money. And I looked at him. Mm. This boy was about um, 10 years old. Mm -hmm. nobody's, looking, nobody's taking attention to boys like that. But trust me, these are the kidnappers of tomorrow. Definitely. Mm. These are the thieves of tomorrow. So we I, need to start paying I attention. I am frustrated. Definitely. Yes, nobody's paying attention to them. And each time I see these children on the street, I am scared. I am also, I'm always very scared because the children of the elite that we are protecting, mm -hmm. these, are the, these are the kidnappers of tomorrow, <laughs> these are the thieves of tomorrow. So I am frustrated as well. It is well. <laughs> well, we'll take a